Hi, Pilani here from Lightspeed. So today I'm going to be showing you how to release your Lightspeed license and install it on a new server. So you might want to do this if you've developed an issue with your current server and to solve this issue you just want to spin up a new server entirely. So I'm actually going to be demonstrating to you how you can actually achieve this. So the first thing that I need you to do is to go to store.lightspeedtech.com So when you get to this web page what I need you to do is to move your mouse cursor to where it says login. So just click on login and type in your email address, type in your password and click on the I am not a robot recapture. Once you've done that, click on login. So you've now gained access to your Lightspeed account. Click on any one of the licenses that you want to modify and as you can see this license is actually locked to a particular IP address. So the first thing you need to do is to unlock this IP address. So just click on unlock. And once you've done that, you now need to then click on release. So these two actions will then allow you to then use this license on a new server. So the next thing you need to do is to then access your server via SSH or web GUI and activate this license. But before we do this, I just wanted to highlight to you two very important points that you need to know. The first is that if you're using a control panel that supports Lightspeed, it should have a GUI that lets you update your Lightspeed license, so you don't have to connect via SSH. And the second most important point that I wanted to highlight to you is that if the IP address of the new server has changed, you first have to unlock the IP address. However, if the IP address of that server hasn't changed, there is no need to unlock. Okay, so let's con let's continue. I've uh, put together an example that actually illustrates to you a typical Lightspeed web server license move. So in this example, the old server has an IP address of 3.84.50.235 and the new web server has an IP address of 54.211.107.77. So I'm just going to be using the Amazon uh, Web Services Cloud Platform for this illustration, but you can just use any other supported cloud service uh, to follow along this tutorial. So as you can see, the old server actually does have an IP address of 3.84.50.235 and it's actually set as not registered and you can see we don't have an entry on where it says locked IP address. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect to the new server via SSH and we're going to configure the uh, Lightspeed license. So open up your terminal program and uh, in my case to connect to the new server I'm just going to run SSHi and then I'm going to append the file name for the key pay file. And then I'm going to type in the username at the public IP address for the new server. So once you type that in, press enter. For connecting to your uh, server via SSH will just depend on where you've actually just deployed your uh, Lightspeed uh, web server. But if you're also running on Amazon, this will actually be the exact uh, process for you to take. So I'm going to change to the uh, user local lsws uh, conf directory. So in this directory, uh, let me just uh, list out the contents of this directory. So as you can see, we've got a child.key file and a child.key.old file. So to remove these two files, I'm just going to run the command rm and then uh, I'm going to specify the parameter f and then specify child.key. And then secondly, specify child.key.old. So once you've removed those two files, you need to create a new serial.no file. So run the command echo, type in two quotation marks, and then type in serial.no. And then in between the two quotation marks, copy the serial number for your license, and then paste that in between the two quotation marks. Then press enter. So if you list out the contents of this directory, you actually see that we now have a new serial.no file. So move out of the conf directory and move into the bin directory. And then in this directory, we get, we're actually going to run the command lshttpd and then specify the R option. So if you run this command, you actually see a message saying updated license key has been created. So the next thing to do is to verify the version of the Lightspeed Enterprise uh, web server. And next, we're going to just do a graceful server restart. So run the command ls wsctrl restart. 
once the graceful server restart is complete, what we actually want to see is we want to see this IP address indicated within the license information in the Lightspeed Store license details section. So reload the page. And uh, when the page reloads, if you go to the license information section, you'll see that the new server IP address is indicated and it's also set as the locked IP address. So this actually marks the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to our channel. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.